everyone! Today we're going to talk about a really interesting topic in geometry called tessellations. A tessellation is a pattern of shapes that fit perfectly together with no gaps or overlaps. In real life, tessellations are found all over the place. They can be used to serve a specific purpose, like with floor tiles. They can be used in art, like along the walls of the Islamic palace Alhambra in Spain. Or they can also be used in nature, such as with honeycomb that bees make. That's a pattern of repeating hexagons, which is also a tessellation. There are different types of tessellations. A regular tessellation is formed when every shape is the exact same shape, just repeated over and over again. Take a look at this website where I'm putting together a few different tessellations using triangles, squares, and hexagons. And then can you see why the pentagon, which is a five-sided shape, won't make a regular tessellation. The pentagon doesn't fit together perfectly no matter how you rotate the shape, so it will never form a regular tessellation. However, a lot more tessellations can be made if you use two or more shapes, like some of these. Here's a way to make your own tessellation. You're gonna need a piece of paper, a pencil, cardstock, a post-it note, scissors, tape, and some colored pencils or paint to color it in at the end. First, Put the post-it note onto the piece of cardstock to help you cut out a perfect square. It's important that your shape is exactly a square, which is why we're using the post-it note. So cut around the post-it note, then take your square of cardstock and cut whatever shape you want out of one side. I chose to cut out a triangle. Then tape that triangle to the opposite side so that the straight edges line up. Now you have a new shape that you can trace. So starting at one corner of your blank piece of paper, trace your new shape, then figure out how the shape fits together with itself and keep tracing it until you fill up the entire piece of paper. You've just made a tessellation. Now you can color it in or paint it however you want. When you're done, you'll have a piece of artwork that maybe looks like this. Thanks for watching. Bye.